Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Football Daily Weekly. Good to have you with us. I'm joined by Lawrence and Robbie, and we'll be talking about the best and worst signings of the season so far in the Premier League. Uh, I'm sure everybody has an opinion on this. So we're going to begin um, uh, by saying best signings. Uh, Alvar Negredo for, for Manchester City has been very good. Um, very Fernandinho good. and Jesus Navas. But I think Negredo perhaps is the one out of those three who's fitted in very well and has mm. formed a great strike partnership with, with Aguero, Robbie. Yeah, he, he's, he's looking a really top quality striker. Mm. Um, big, strong and very quick and scores very good goals and yeah he, he's he's definitely hit the ground running yeah and um doing the business for you know keeping Jekko out of the team uh, uh, he's Jekko 2.0 Lukaku for Everton has mm. been a, a great loan signing of course and, and many Chelsea fans wish, wish he'd have stayed um uh, Lukaku marvellous stuff I think eight goals this season oh, he's been absolutely incredible yeah. um Lukaku um I just cannot I still can't get my head around why Mourinho let Lukaku go out on loan He's an incredible, incredible striker, mm. um, and you know he's he's being the difference at the moment mm. for Everton. He's he's giving them that potency up front. Arsenal, Özil, there they are. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> and there he oh, is. He's been brilliant, hasn't he? Just yeah. I mean, and and the thing is about Özil is that there's been a lot of games this season where you, you've seen him play and you're like, he's been okay. But like he's just, you can see he's just class. He, oh, yeah. he, he can just turn a game and that's what world-class players bring you. They've they, they got that something extra and he's got it. And, you know, I think there's so much more to come from him. That's the good thing for an Arsenal fan. Still more to come from Ozil. I mean, and it's nice to see Flamini back at Arsenal as well, who's been a crucial signing. You have the lovely deft touch of, of um, Ozil and then the slightly more bruising touch of uh, Flamini, <laughs> shall we say. Just going through everyone. Yeah, yeah, but Arsenal needed that. I mean, when, when we got him... I was a bit upset to be honest because I was like, you know, why are we bringing back Flamini? Why didn't we spend some money, get out someone like a Wanyama or somebody like that? But he's Thank proved... goodness you didn't. Though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he's been Wanyama. playing well. Wanyama. Yeah, he goes Southampton. He's doing well. I think well, he's then. done all right. I think he's done all right, Wanyama. But you know, Flamini has come into Arsenal and he's been amazing. And a lot of play, a lot of uh, fans down there, that's like their favourite player at the moment because, mm. like you said, we needed that sort of driving force and he's having an excellent season excellent yeah another loan signing was um, Loic Remy of Newcastle I mean he's mm. done fantastically well the Newcastle having a great season you know he's fitting very well into that system I think the system serves him very well mm. um, it, also the fact that he he's one of those strikers who I think is very uh, confidence based again mm. um, and you know so he'll go on little spurts um, it's whether he can kind of sustain that continue it I'm kind of surprised that none of the uh, sort of big boys never took a chance with him because you know in the Premier League you need goal scorers and that's what he's doing for Newcastle he, he, he may have a game where he ain't even done that much but he scores the goals and that's what you want they are worst signings of the season um, <laughs> chaps which, which names leap to mind Robbie I have no doubt that you want to go well, through that some first players. <laughs> with, a fine, uh, with a fine comb you are going to some of these names yeah Spurs <laughs> fans do brace yourself we've got the man from, uh, from Arsenal Fan TV and he's going to be talking about Roberto Soldado perhaps Soldado I mean I mean has he, has he been that bad I suppose it's a big price tag you expect him to score a lot of goals and he hasn't in fairness to Soldado I don't know if the midfield's really been supplying him with the the, mm. the, the ammunition to, to put the goals away but I did think at the time when, when Spurs bought Soldado considering his age and mm. the amount of money they're paying mm. for him How old is um, he? I've got, I think he's 29 29, 29. yeah 28, 29 and, yeah. right so F to pay that amount of money for a player of that age, he's got to come in and hit the ground running, and he hasn't. I, th I think you're absolutely right. You know, mm. if you take someone like Eric Lamella, who's a very exciting talent, mm. um, uh, you can understand perhaps being uh, in, a, in a different country, a different language, all that kind of stuff, which he's already um, had in Italy, being from Argentina. Um, I think he's only what 21, something mm. like that, and come in a very different style of football. You perhaps think, okay, he needs a little bit more time. Whereas if you're going to spend big on a player who's very established, then mm. the, the knives are going to be out. I think it's unfair to, to call such a young guy the worst signing of the season. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, he's, he's Lamella. You've got to give a player like that time. You know, uh, I mean, he has been poor so far this season. He hasn't, you know, for the 30 million, remember, that's how much they paid from that. He's a lot of money. Um, you're expecting something, you know, even a little bit straight away, and he hasn't produced anything really. 
we interview, uh, interviewed a fan the other day on um, Arsenal Fan TV, and he said that Spurs sold the iPhone and bought a load of Motorola. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably as well as not mine. Um, uh, Marouane fellaini has been um, a signing that people have uh, criticised quite a bit. Obviously, he's uh, played in the Premier League for a while. Quite established very well for Everton. He's come in and, and has not really done it for Manchester United yet. Yeah. So, with such a big price tag, is it one of the worst signs of the season, or is it just a case that he needs time to go from Everton to playing in front of the Old Trafford faithful? He's used to playing in the Premier League. Um, maybe the system doesn't quite suit him mm-hmm. that much, so you could say that Manchester United are making him the worst signing of the season so far. <laughs> um, and he, he hasn't had an awful lot of games. He was used to starting for Everton mm-hmm. week in, week out. Mm-hmm. And there is quite a difference in your rhythm when you're not starting every game, when you're not used to being the number one, and you'll go into a squad with a very different dynamic. Wondering, you know, if Fellaini was ready to take that jump. I really wanted us to sign Fellaini. Yeah. It was desperate for us to sign yeah. him in, in, in the summer because I was like, that's just the sort of player that we mm. need. Whereas with United, that's just the sort of play they didn't need. Uh, that's all we've got time for uh, this week. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks, of course, to, to Lawrence and Robbie. Do yeah, leave your comments you. below, and we'll see you next time.